Most people associate the end of apartheid in South Africa with the iconic figure of Nelson Mandela. But the man who presided over his country's historic transition from white minority rule to democracy remains little known, even among his own countrymen. Yeah, I know, I know, I know this guy. In his documentary, The Other Man, filmmaker Nicola Rossier aims to redress the imbalance and tell the story of former South African President F.W. de Klerk. Mandela, and there's always photos of de Klerk and Mandela, but every time there's, you know, a story of Mandela, de Klerk comes one or two minutes in the whole program. I said, well, why? You know, I'd like to understand what, 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 what really happened with this guy. My name is Frederick Willem de Klerk. I'm called by my initials in Afrikaans, my home language, EV, in English, FW. There was basically an opportunity, and I think the clerk seized it. But what was interesting is nobody knew his background, nobody knew where he came from. Mandela and de Klerk shared the 1993 Nobel Peace Prize for ending minority white rule and laying the foundations of democracy. He was brought under cover of darkness to my office in Cape Town which later became his office. De Klerk served as Mandela's deputy president after he won the 1994 elections. Uh, impressed by how ramrod straight he stood. I think the film is a good anchor for, de for debates about racism and the legacy of apartheid, and also the legacy we have here that we, ha we don't really talk about. So uh, in a sense, I think it's going to be a film that's going to have, you know, many people are going to watch it and over and over, not just from a conflict resolution perspective, but also because of you know, the racism in our society. While the documentary has opened to mixed reviews in the U.S., it is undeniably a story that needed to be told for reasons of balance alone about a man that in some ways has been overlooked by history. The other man is scheduled for release in South Africa this summer.